Hmm, we got a tragic here, and welcome back to my mod for Yggdrasil. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce these North, North, Norse. <laughs> no, I can't even pronounce the country. These Norse names, I, I can't pronounce. So I, I call this game Yggdrasil, and it's about the Norse gods. And I, this is one of my very first mods, but I've recently been playing it a lot. And to make it easier for me, I've added a number of quality of life improvements to the scripting because it was back when I didn't really know how to script. So I'll just go through that. For starters, this game uses this bag system where inside the bag there are good draws and bad draws. You have Vikings in the bag or you have Fire Giants. So say you draw three cards, you go one, two, three. I drew all Giants, so that was a dead draw. That was terrible. And what you do, a big part of this game is stacking these bags so they have a better draw odd by pulling giants out and placing them down here. Now, it's public information in this game what is in the bags. You just have to draw randomly from the bags. So I've made these little counters that count them. So every time you take anything out of the bag, it'll shuffle it. Anything dropped in, it'll shuffle it. And these numbers will just... Uh, change as you do that so say i take out three from here i get one two three and you can see the value is just changing so that's pretty much that now you can choose at the start to play with the counters or not because some people they choose to make the bags hidden information uh, so people who aren't paying huge amounts of attention can't don't know what's in there so you can just simply click remove bags and it will get rid of the counters. That simple. Uh, but if you want to play with them, hit the play with counters. Now in addition, there's this little red button here. So basically you've got this area here and what this action does is that you draw five targets, one, two, three, four, five, and any any ogres go to the fire pits and any vikings go back that's one of the main ways of like fixing this bag to have better draw odds but there's a number of ways to draw what you want for example frig over here his trance power means that you just draw fire giants you don't draw anything else so the way it works is that this little red button when it, you, you activate it using the left or right click, if you click the left cl button, if you use your left click as many times as you like, it'll draw that many colored tokens from the bag. So say I want to draw five fire giants from the blue bag, I just go one, two, three, four, five, and out come five uh, tokens. And they're all fire giants. And of course it shuffles the, aisle, the, the bag as well. Now, if you want to draw the other token, you use right click. So say I want to draw, uh, like there's a guy, I think it's, I think it's Hemdal, Norge. Yeah, so this guy, he chooses what he draws, right? So he can draw either fire or, uh, he, he can choose either fire giants or Vikings, right? So if you want to draw just Vikings with this action, uh, sorry, with this action, which allows you to draw three Vikings, you just right click one, two, three, and out will come the three Vikings. Now you'll note that the little button is changed to white. That means it's now set to white. So if you wanted to draw another four Vikings, you'd now use your left. And it's basically, it's that simple, right? So whatever color it is, you use your left button. And if you want to get the other one, you use your right button. So I want to get five uh, ogres from here. I'll just go one, two, three, four, five with my right click and out they come. Okay. And that's just so you don't have to ch set these to different values. It's just always works by just clicking on it. Uh, over here, you've got the original, this is basically the only, the only scripting that the mod had in the old days. This was done by Cryptosia back before I knew how to do scripting. And this uh, just sets up the deck. So there's three different difficulties of the deck setup. So say I want to play hard difficulty, I'll just hit hard, hard and it'll create the draw deck as per the rules. Now, if you want to do, uh, 
if you want to do manual setup, so I'll play with bags, if you want to do manual setup, it just deletes everything and you just build it yourself. Okay. So that's the, that's the deck setup thing. Uh, in addition, I've now placed a die roller here. So the die roller just rolls the dice for you because I like, I like die rollers. So you just click it and it will roll the dice. And when it's finished, it'll display it. Okay. Now in TTS, there's like a sort of a problem with the way the physics works. Like if your dice are scaled up like nice and large like this, it'll actually, uh, it doesn't roll properly. So you've always got to make sure your dice are a default size. So I always make them small and then I scale them big to display, which is what it does here. And I've also made it so it rolls and then kind of rolls again. And I do it so like it lands and you're like, oh no, I've missed, or oh no, I've got it. And then it rolls again. It, it makes it the roll really exciting for me. You know, I think it's much better. Anyway, so that's why it does that. Uh, it starts off with enough elves to do a uh, six player game, but there's a little bag. You can just stick them in here and drag out as many elves as you require. It's the number of players plus one. All the rules are up the back here. Uh, basically that's it, pretty much it except for over here. Basically you've got like this thing here. It's like the Dwarven Forge and the way this works is it has a number of weapons in it for each monster. And these weapons, they have three, uh, different levels. Okay. So you've got level one, level two, level three. And when you are draw, when you are drawing from, from this deck, you can only ever draw the first weapon. Okay. So if someone gets the first weapon, no one else can get any weapons. So say I want to draw the, the wolf weapon. I just simply click on the wolf and out it comes. Okay. Now if I try and click on the wolf again, nothing happens, right? But if I want to upgrade this, so this for another action, another turn, you can trade this in for the level uh, two weapon. You, all you got to do is drop it back on the here and it just becomes level two. And now of course, another player can get the level one but he can't upgrade it obviously because level two is already out. He has to wait for the other dude to get level three. And that's basically what this does. So you just, it draws and then it upgrades it by just dropping it onto it. Okay. And these are actually coming from the deck. So, you know, see how it puts the other one back in. And that's pretty much that. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, also when, when you load the mod, it uh, shuffles everything and that includes the god bag up here so every time you so i've just loaded the mod the first guy i drew out is seth but if i load the mod a second time the first god i drew out is now thor so that's how you can just randomly set up your player characters like so and i think that is oh one more thing over here if you don't like using the die roller, there's an infinite die dispenser here that you can use instead. So just, uh, you know, you can use that basically. And if you hit the remove die roller, it'll delete it off here. Okay. And that is pretty much the mod. That is all the mod. So really the, the big thing to take away is this thing here. So you just click the weapon you want. And if you drop it back on, it'll give you the next weapon up and also you can play with or without the counters. So let's say I remove the counters. And if you click on these buttons, it'll get with the left click, it'll get whatever color the button is. So if I want the red tokens, I just click the red one with my left one, two, three, outcome three. And if I want the other tokens, I right click. So one, two, three and take out them. And that is that. Uh, yeah, so that is my mod for Yggwazil, and I will see you guys next time.